Now let's continue with question number nine. I have five p squared minus thirty eight p minus sixteen, and I'll begin by drawing the tic tac toe box. To get five p squared, I need to have five p times p, and then to get negative sixteen, hmm, uh, maybe we can do four times four or eight times two, and then we just need to make one of these numbers negative, right? Um, let's see. Let me use the middle numbers right now. I need to produce a negative thirty-eight, right? And I mentioned eight earlier. And notice that right here I have the five p. Five times eight will be forty, and that's that's pretty close to neg um to thirty to thirty-eight, right? So let me put the eight right here and the two right here. And then I need to produce uh, things that I need to produce a negative sixteen, and let me try to make the eight negative. And let me see. 5p and negative 8. We'll multiply them. I get negative 40p. And now I'll take the p, multiply with the 2. And that's exactly just 2p. And notice that negative 40p plus 2p will be negative 38p. And that's what we need to get in the middle. So the answer is just is the answer is just 5p plus 2 times p minus 8. 5p plus Two times p minus eight, and that's it. Okay, and so um, we can actually kind of just look at what we need to produce in the middle before we put down some random numbers、uh, right here. And let me see if that will help us out nicely later on. Number ten, nine x squared minus nine x y minus four y squared. So let's see. Take out a box. To get nine、um, x squared, let me try it with three x and three x. Right, three times three is equal to nine, and x times x is x squared. And then here I need to get negative four y squared. So I know I should have one and y for sure. But then, should I use four and one, or should I use maybe two and two? Then I need to.、Um, in this case, it's just kind of check out. If I put a two right here and a two right here, then two times two will be six, right?、Uh, let me just do it to demonstrate. Let me put two y and two right here. I need to get a negative, so let me just put it down like this. Three y times, sorry, three x times two y. These two together is six x y. But then three x times negative two y. That's negative six x y. Well, that add up to zero. These two add up to zero. That's not what we want. Nine x squared minus nine x y minus four y squared. Let me try another combination, and hopefully, we can get it to work. So to get nine x squared, I still want to use three x and three x. But to get negative four y squared. Let me try it with negative four and positive one, and of y and y, okay. And then let's see. I have to take three x times one y. I think this time will work because three x times y is three x y. And then three x times negative four y. This right here is、uh, three times negative four is negative twelve, and then we have the x y. Positive three x y minus twelve x y. It's exactly negative nine x y. That's what we need in the middle. So what's the answer? Three x minus four y times three x plus y. So let me write it down right here. This is three x minus four y times three x、um, plus y. Okay, for number eleven. For number eleven, we have ten x squared minus three x y minus eighteen y squared, and then take out the box like this. To produce ten x squared, let me try with five x and two x first, and then to produce negative eighteen y squared, to produce negative eighteen, and then later I have to somehow get negative three in the middle, right?、Uh, It's kind of hard to do right here, 
So I'm just going to put down my um, my my guess, my initial guess first. Let me put nine and two because I know nine and two will give you eighteen. And let me make negative. Okay, let me put negative nine right here. And I have to have the y square. So y and y. Okay, take the five x times two y. That's ten x y. And two x times negative. 9y is negative 18xy, and as we can see that this is not this is not the right combination. The middle turns out to be negative 8xy. This is not the right combination. So 10x squared minus 3xy minus 18y squared. We are just going to try another combination to see if that will help. I still want to use. 5x and 2x in the first box right here. 5x and 2x. And to get 18, I can also use 6 and 3, right? 6 and 3 will also get me 18. And if I put 6 right here, I will have to multiply with 12 right here, right? And that will be, sorry, if I put 6 right here, I will have to multiply with a 2 right here, that will be 12. And then 3 times 5 will be 15. I think that will work. Let me put 6 right here and 3 right here. And I need to have the y and y to produce the y square. I need to produce a negative 18y. And notice that in the middle, I need to have a negative uh, 3. Later on, I'm going to multiply 2 and two, um, 6 will be 12. And 3 times 5 times 3 will be 15. Um, I need to make that negative. I need to make this 3 negative. So just kind of um, put this down and then we are going to do the check. If it works, then we got the answer. So 5x times negative 3y is negative 15xy. Um, and then 2x times 6y, that's 12xy. And notice that negative 15xy plus 12xy is exactly negative 3xy. So we got our answer. 5x plus 6y times 2x minus 3y. So this is 5x plus 6y. And remember to write your answer across. 5x plus 6y times 2x minus 3y. Okay, number 12. Let's see, number 12. 15x squared plus 31xy minus 12y squared. So, let's see. To get 15x squared, mm, the natural way is just like 3x and 5x, right? And to get negative 12, uh, 4 times 3 is equal to 12, or maybe 6 times 2 is also equal to... Um, 12, right? And let me put a 6 right here and a 2 right here because I will produce a 30. So let me just put that first. Y and Y. And let me make this negative for now. So if we do 3x times negative 2y, that's negative 6xy. And take 5x times that. 5x times 6y is 30xy. Negative 6xy plus 30xy is 24xy which is not the correct combination we are not we didn't get 31 in the middle so I'll just do x uh, 15x squared plus 31xy minus 12y squared so let me try another one so here let's do maybe 3x and 5x again and then I need to produce negative 12. Uh, let me try 4 and 3. Okay, 4 and 3. But then if I put 4 right here, 4 times 5 will be 20. And if I put 3 right here, 3 times 3 will be... Um, 3 times 3 will be 9, right? So I don't think that will somehow add up to 31. Mm. Also, don't, don't forget that 12 is also equal to to 12 times 1. Maybe let's try that. So 
let me put one and twelve. One times twelve is equal to neg um, one times twelve is equal to twelve. And then I need to produce a, a negative. So let me put negative one right here. And notice that I have the y square, so y and y right here. So let me just put on this, and then let's see if it works. So this is the part that gets um, factorings. This is the part that where factorings gets really frustrating because there are just so many combinations for this kind of problems, right? So you just kind of have to do a lot of these questions so you can get, you know, get good at it. Okay, so 3x times 12. 3x times 12y, that's 36xy. And then 5x times negative 1. 5x times negative 1y, it's negative 5xy. As we can see that we have 36xy minus 5y, and that's exactly 31xy. And we got it. 3x minus y, 5x plus 12. So this is equal to 3x minus y times 5x plus 12y.